Okay, so we are about to install two packages of carniolans. What do you guys think about that? Good. Are you guys going to watch how this is done? Do you want to be beekeepers one day? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I want to babysit bees. You want to babysit bees? Me yeah. Too. You too? Okay. We have bee costume in the house. You do have a bee costume in the house. So. Show the bees. They would like that. Yeah. But the first thing we want to do is we want to get these bees right here into their homes. And we're going to use two different techniques. One, we're going to shake the bees into one of the hives. And the other one, we're just going to set into the hive. So we're going to try two different techniques, okay? All right. So in the first one, In the first one, we're going to just remove the feeder and I'm going to show you how we do that. I'm going to slide the queen out. And after I slide the queen out, I'm going to press that in between some frames. And then I'm going to shake the bees. Oh, marshmallow. Yep, we're going to put a marshmallow plug inside of the uh, queen cage. And then one it's about a four hour release. Yep, we're going to pull a piece of that off. And then the other one, we're just going to remove the canister, the feeding canister, and we're going to place this box down into the hive and let the bees naturally come out. And we're just going to see how that differs from one to the next. Okay, so we have our marshmallow, our hive tool, put our marshmallow in the back pocket, and take our weights off, take our cover off. We have an empty box and the reason we have this box is because we're going to use it to place our sugar syrup into the hives. Okay, so in this first one what we're going to do is I'm going to simply remove about five frames. I'm using a foundation on these frames. These are Langstroth hives. So we're going to take these frames out and what we can see is that with five frames out this fits down very nicely inside. See? Nice and snug fit. So the first thing we're going to do Yeah, we put bees inside that box. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray them with a little bit of sugar water. And this just helps. Yeah. This just helps kind of keep them from flying too much. You don't want to get them too wet. Now we're going to take knock them down, give them another spray. Now we're going to lift this can out of here. Doing everything we can not to smash any bees. Sometimes these cans don't come out all that easy. And this is one such can. So just work it. Careful, Dad. Bees are right there. I see that. Okay. Almost got it. Okay, so now we worked that out. We're just going to set this down right here. A lot of most of those bees will just go back in. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to slide this down inside here. We're going to And here we see the queen cage. And we want to check to see if she's in there and sure enough she is. And this has a cork on the inside. So because I think 
these bees have only been with this queen for a couple of days what we're actually going to do is we are not going to do a candy uh, a piece of um, a piece of uh, what's the word marshmallow because I don't think they've adapted to her yet so instead we are just going to place this inside and just as easy as that we are going to place the inner cover on top it's nice to set these at an angle like this less contact area and then turn it into place okay now I have this very simple feeding mechanism which just goes over the top it holds four jars and these jars have little holes on top you just place this in to the hole and the bees will come up and feed from that simply place the box over this is a well we're going to use that other bottle for the um, the other hive here and we're going to buy some more bottles okay so what we'll do now is we're going to take this and place this down inside it's also food for the bees we're going to put our cover back on and for the time being we are going to put these back into the shed yep we're not going to do the marshmallow today guys in the second hive we're going to do a more traditional release and that is we're going to actually shake the bees into the the box can you eat the marshmallow i don't know let's see how this goes first then maybe we can share the marshmallow okay so for this one what I'm going to do is actually take out five of the frames from the center. So let's start with four. I'm going to set these aside, take out a fifth one. And in this case, what we have is an opening. And I'm going to take this second box of carniolans. In a very similar way, I'm going to spray them down just to get them kind of wet. And don't be surprised, there will be some dead bees at the bottom of your box. It's just kind of part of the transportation. And there are extras in here, but don't be alarmed. There will be dead ones. All right, now we're going to knock them to the bottom. Going to give them another spray. This just keeps them from flying too much. It's just a simple syrup, which is... A one-to-one -one ratio of water and organic sugar. I'm going to pry out the feeder box. Let's see, does this one come out any easier? Not really. So we're going to pry this guy out with my hive tool. All right, so that's out. We're going to set this right here. We're going to check to see, is our queen alive? Yes, she is. A cork bottom. I'm going to set her right here for the time being. And what we're going to do now is take these bees in the more traditional sense and we're just going to pour them side to side. As gently as I can. And as they start to fly, Spray them a little bit more. Don't be alarmed. Okay. So I'm going to set that down right there. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do. because we don't believe she's been well acclimated. No, no stinging, no stinging, no stinging, guys. Okay, so they're getting a little rambunctious. So we're gonna get them into the hive. 
gonna sandwich her in between being gentle uh oh and we're gonna be gentle just to set those guys down there gosh they sting that's one thing about bees is they do sting okay so now we're gonna set them into place The thing about stings is they kind of hurt, but it's an interesting sensation because, okay, now so we put the, it's an interesting sensation because <laughs> the pain dissipates. I don't know how to describe it. Okay, so now we've got those guys. The queen has been sandwiched between a few of the frames. We're putting the telescoping cover back on I'm sorry, this is the inner cover. Followed by empty supers, which we'll use just to sort of protect our syrup. Okay, I'm gonna place that inside. We're gonna take this other can and just place it on top. And then we're going to take our Telescoping cover, place that on top, followed by our weight. We're going to leave this, we're going to leave our extra box off to the left, clean up our mess. So as you can see, the easier way to install bees is certainly using the non-shaking method. They just kind of go into place and there's no issue.